What's up? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to get into how to boost characters. So now let's say you have beat the campaign, the main campaign, twice, no DLC. That means you've killed the destroyer twice and turned in the vault key to Tannis. After you do that, you're really not no longer on playthrough 2. You're actually on playthrough 2, 2.5. And what you would do is, if you you gotta invite your second controller or a friend, right? Say they're level one, and this is how you would do that. I just loaded in. I'm gonna go split screen, and I'm just gonna show you. Now, what you have to do is, whoever needs to boost they have to at least complete the very first mission in the game and make it inside where you got to unlock the um mission called skags at the base where you got to kill the five oh, skags on, on, once that's done they can just it. save and exit and then what you do is you load them up in your game and i'm going to show you what 2.5 looks like and how fast you can level up <laughs> So that's because I'm too far ahead for the second controller that I'm using. So I'll just hit A. Scooter asked me to tell you about a, a little something something he needs done. You should ask him about it. Hello! There are new missions available at the New Haven Bounty Board. because I can't see it. Hang on. So, my whatever weapon you're holding is going to level up as well. Now, this is 2.5. These enemies are at my level and maxed out. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take off. Big up and fast. Getting better all the time. Critical hit. Break it up. Getting better all the time. All right. Heels. So as you see that I level up my character to like level 15, I think. No, level 11. No, no, level 15. All right. So if we did that for a half hour, he would be at level 69. All right. Now, let's say we're just going to, once you make it all the way to the end, not to where you got to open up the gate to go in and fight the destroyer, that, that's no longer there. So once you get to the end, you just save and exit. Because you can't recycle this fight. So you have to spawn back in. And then re-invite. Now, 
let's say if you wanted to make a new character, right? You came down here and made a new character. I haven't played them oh, since on, 2016. Down, this is just this. for the uh, um, tutorial videos here that I'm doing. So this is my fresh character that I've made. So if I went and made a new character, I am going to have to play the very first missions, like two of them. The one from the bus when you hop off and then inside to where you unlock the skags, right? And then save and exit. Then, if I leveled up my other account, which I've already done, and I will show you another trick. Once you load in your account, right, you have to press your Y button and find your character, right? So, I already have a character that I've already maxed out to level 69, all right? It's already on playthrough 2 down there at the bottom on the right hand side. It says playthrough 2. So I've already, so I went and leveled this character up at the start of the game. I unlocked the first mission and leveled it all the way up. Played the game twice, so he's on playthrough 2, maxed out. Right? Now, let's say if I wanted to make a new character, all I would do is I would use my split screen to run my other new character through until I'm 69 and then play the new character so for example like I've done here I've ran them through I also have a berserker that I can upload from back in the day on 360 when I did this but that is how you would do it so this character would be you know a new one it, this character would not stick so anything I do on it right now if I were to level it up it's not gonna stick because there's no save data to it so you actually have to create that very first save mission inside after you first start the game and then go in and do the skags you don't gotta do the skags you just gotta unlock it and then save and quit and then you're done and then I load up my second character, bring in this level 1, and just completely power level it. That's how you do it. Just like that. I mean, I already have a soldier, so it would be a hunter, siren, and a berserker for the achievements. But yeah. Alright, thank you for watching. Everybody out there, stay safe, and I will provide a link to the Discord if you want to join. Oh, come on, let's get down.